dear students today we are going to discuss about how to create simple lan connection using cisco packet tracer and how to use ping command please you know how to create simple lan connection cisco packet tracer and i place one more note how to use ping command so in my previous video we discussed about how to create simple lan connection using two computer and one switch today we are going to create simple lan connection with three computers and one switch and followed by today we are going to use ping command to test the traceability of each computer so how that packet is sent how many packet is sent how many packet is received so what's the time taken all the information it will be displayed in the command window right so go to end devices place three computers and select network devices choose 2960 switch and to connect the computers i am going to use copper strike line through select fast ethernet 0 0 by 1 fast ethernet 0 0 by 2 fast ethernet 0 0 by 3 right now i change the name of the computer this is computer 1 this is computer 2 the last one computer 3 right and just to for our reference i place a note the ip address of each computer computer 1 ip address it's 10.1.1 for computer 2 it's 10.1.2 for computer 3 it's 10.1.3 right this is the ip address i am going to set for each computer now click on the computer 1 and go to desktop select ip configuration type 10.1.1 this is the ip address of computer 1 okay the subnet mask address it will become automatically it's 255.0.0.0 and go to computer 2 and the ip address for computer 2 it's 10.1.2 for computer 3 it's 10.1.3 okay so first we created the structure then we set the ip address of each computer now i am going to use ping command just to click on the computer go to desktop now you select command prompt icon to use the ping command type ping 10.1.2 right so 10.1.2 is ip address of computer 2 right just press the enter button okay the message we receive from computer 2 that is ip address of computer 2 it's 10.1.2 with 32 bytes of data and reply from 
computer to IP address, the bytes, it's 32 bytes of data. What's the time taken? It's 1 milliseconds. And TTL, it's the time to live, it's 128. Right? Now, pinging the statistics for 10.1.2. Number of packets sent is 4. Received, 4. Lost is 0. The approximate round trip time in milliseconds. It's a minimum time, it's 0 milliseconds. Maximum, it's 1 millisecond. Average time is 0 millisecond. Now, I am going to ping with computer 3, 10.1.1.3, right? So, this is the IP address of computer 3. Press the enter button. Now, here the time is 1 milliseconds and number of packets sent is 4, received 4, lost is 0. The minimum time it's the 0 millisecond, maximum is 1 millisecond, average time is 0 millisecond. In case if you are using the same command in your laptop or desktop, sometimes you will get the same information. Sometimes if the information it may be different. What it mean? Based on your connectivity, based on your computer response, the time it may be different, and the number of packets sent, received, on even the packets may be lost. So due to some poor connectivity, some packet it also may be lost, and the minimum time, maximum time. It may be default based on your computer response, based on your connectivity, right? Now, close this window and I am going to add a simple message from computer 1 to 2. Okay, so here the connection is successful and place here one more message from computer 1 to 3, right? Now, the second connection is also successful. To test the message, go to simulation window and click the play button. Okay, computer 1, send the message to switch 0 and it reaches to computer 2. At the same time, computer 1, send the second message to computer 3. Now, computer 2, send the acknowledgement. Okay, first acknowledgement is received. Computer 3, send the acknowledgement to computer 1. Right, two acknowledgement we receive. So, all the information, it is displayed in the simulation window. So, what's the time taken? What's your lost device? And how that message, it's transferred from each event. So, all the information we can observe from the simulation window, right? I hope this video is helpful to everyone. So, how to create a simple LAN connection and how to use ping command. In case if you have any queries, please post your queries in your command window. Thanks for watching.